Hello everyone. So um, it's a presentation about the DPDK contribution. It uh, it will be probably less technical than the previous one. It uh, yeah, it will be more about love and <laughs> a bit about code also. Okay. So first, let's start by a question. Uh, what is the primary requirement for the networking equipment? There are many requirements. But maybe we can keep the first one as to, to have something really reliable. So what means having a, an equipment reliable? Like this one, for example. Um, it means having something really stable in the time and having a good maintenance. So that's a simple fact. But now the real question is how to achieve these requirements. You can go to the open source method. Uh, so it means use some open source uh, projects and obviously contribute to, to this project in order to, to, to have them in the good shape for your project. Um, OK, let's be a bit uh, more precise. Um, now we're talking about VPP and DPDK. These are two projects uh, which are open source. Um, and as we have seen uh, these last days, there are uh, some uh, modules uh, which overlap from one project to another. It means probably there is a, a large gap for collaboration, for improvement of each project. Uh, for example, there are some, uh, obviously there are some drivers in DPDK because it, that's the main uh, target of the project. And there are also some drivers in VPP for probably for historical reasons and uh, convenient reasons. Uh, we can try to, to merge some, some drivers and this way improve the drivers of uh, each project. Um, and there, there are also some, uh, some patches in DPDK uh, sorry, in uh, in VPP for DPDK. What means having some uh, some patches in the VPP project for DPDK? It means you are not using exactly the vanilla DPDK uh, in VPP, and you have to maintain uh, these patches. At some point, we do not know how we converge. Um, so clearly, the the the, the, the good uh, method uh, is to try to to remove uh, these local patches. And uh, and together right on the same DPDK version. So uh, I think at this point it uh, it would be a good idea to uh, to explain how to uh, to push these patches in DPDK. So it means how to contribute to DPDK. It gives me the occasion to to show you how DPDK is working. Uh, and uh, so first, uh, let's look at the website. The website is there. You have a page for development and contributions. Um, for for the first the, the first sentence, maybe the most important one. Anyone is welcome. It's a really open community. Um, how we work? We mainly work uh, with Git and emails, um, almost like Linux. And uh, there is the patchwork tool, which helps us to, um, to, to keep, um, to keep a, a good overview on the pending patches. Um, OK, let's look at the Git repository here. So the main repository is here, DPDK. There is also a new repository for maintenance and uh, some other repository for uh, side projects. Um, here, some uh, repository uh, to have uh, more committers, and the responsible of uh, this repository takes the patches from a specific area. You see for the networking driver and the virtual driver. So uh, when uh, this uh, repository are ready to, to be pulled in the main repository, they make a request. And, and it's merged. Uh, and uh, last thing, yeah, uh, the, the website is also open. You can contribute to it. And the, the last repository is a tool to, uh, to do some uh, testing. Um, 
it's uh, there are some some unique tests in the DPDK repository, but these tests are more functional and more complex. Uh, so, like I said, um, we we send the, the patches on the mailing list. The reviews uh, happens on the mailing list. The discussions, and when the patches are ready, uh, they are simply pushed on the Git repository. Um, like I said, the the mailing list is really used to to, to discuss the, the patches. But it's also used for more general discussions. Um, so it's really important to um, to bring the right attention to your patch in order to have the good reviewers uh, look at it. So first, the title of your patch is important. Then you have to really well explain uh, what your patch is doing, why you are doing it, what is the bug or what is the improvement. And at the end, how you achieve uh, the feature or the fix. Um, then, when you, uh, your patch uh, is ready, uh, you think it is ready, but may maybe it's not. So you uh, you have to to check um, if the, the compilation is is good, if the coding uh, rules are uh, are okay, uh, and things like that. So there are some tools in the DPDK repository to do it. Uh, it's better explained uh, in the documentation. Uh, actually, um, okay, I can show you um, on the um, on the website. Here, okay, I don't know how to do that. Here, uh, you uh, you have some small expl explanation. Uh, it's like a quick guide to contribute. If you have something more complete, the, there is a documentation which is giving a, a lot of guidelines uh, which apply on, on the DPDK project. But uh, generally speaking, it's uh, pretty simple. The, the Linux uh, coding rules uh, apply uh, in most areas. We have some uh, small exception because uh, we are not exactly Linux, but and then. Uh, at the end, you send your patch. How do you send your patch? You use Git uh, and especially the tool Git, Git send email. So the, the patch will, uh, uh, will will be dropped on the mailing list, and for, from that uh, you can hope to have a review. So first, we, we you wait for a review. Yeah, that's a, probably uh, that's a problem in uh, many open source projects. Uh, we really need uh, some uh, good reviews, some reviewers. Uh, so sometimes you, uh, you you can you can wait. Uh, if you feel uh, you you have waited too too long, you you just have to send a ping, uh, just an email. Hey, uh, what do you think of my of my patch? And uh, maybe you can help uh, this process by reviewing other patches. It would be more than welcome. Um, how to 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 know um, who is responsible uh, for uh, for your patch? Uh, there is a, a file in the DPDK uh, repository. Uh, let's go back to the okay to the website. Um, okay, we can we, you can you can browse online the file from the repository from there. The tree is there, and you have here a file which is called maintainers. So the maintainers are the responsible for for the code. The project is splitted in uh, many areas. Uh, for example, um, for example, you are doing a patch for let's say uh, for the for the memory memory pool. Ah, okay, the maintainer is Olivier. Just there, by the way. Um, so uh, the recommendation is to send the, the patch directly to the maintainer, so Olivier, and putting the list in CC. You can you can put uh, other people in CC, but at least uh, make sure that the maintainer uh, will be highlighted uh, by, by this um, recipient header. Um, Okay, I think you you got the point. 
and uh, contribution. So now you just uh, need to, to see a demo, how to contribute. Um, OK, so I have to switch on the terminal. Where is the terminal? Uh, the screen is recording, it's OK? OK. Um, so for, uh, as an example, let's take a VPP patch to, uh, to, to move in the DPDK repository. So as you can see here, uh, it's the VP, VPP directory. OK. I don't know how to scroll, but um, <laughs> okay. Sorry for that. It's not my computers. Um, so here there are some some DP patches in the VPP repository. Uh, I want to show you especially especially one of them, uh, which is fixing uh, a compilation bug uh, with Clang. When, uh, when building with an option O0. Uh, OK, here is a patch. So how to send this patch? Uh, first, I want to check the bug. OK, let's do it. Uh, I, uh, I have to compile dpdk uh, with the flags O0 and with Clang. And there should be a bug. That's what the patch is saying. Indeed, there is a bug. As you can see, maybe you can see it. Uh, so we just have to apply the, um, the patch on DPDK with git am. OK, it's applied. Now let's rebuild to see it's fixed. Yeah, it looks good. So the, the, the patch is a good one. It fixed something. That's a, the that's a first good point. Um, OK, this is the patch. The patch is from Damien here. Uh, there is some little things to say about this patch. Uh, for example, there is no real explanation. Sometimes you don't need to put an explanation, but sometimes it's needed. For, for compilation error, we can put the trace or something like that. And yeah, it's, uh, it's removing some code by if zero. We prefer to avoid some dead code in the repository. So some small change are needed. Um, yeah, and I would like to, to put a comment also on this patch. So it will be clearer for the next uh, reader of the code. Um, how to copy paste? OK, let's modify it. Um, copy paste. OK, a command. It will be clearer. Um, we remove the if zero. We remove it. Uh, remove this, this thing. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, before there were there was a status variable. Let's keep it. Uh, and instead of putting the, the macro this way, uh, you know, uh, for the one line macro, it's better to, to use the do while construct. Uh, I just need to know how to put a, a brace on the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an Apple keyboard. I'm sorry. Uh, right. uh, yes, and the for, oh, I, I have one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, okay, beware, it's a macro. Uh, we have to put a backslash. Caramba, <laughs> <laughs> the same issue. Alt, shift, uh, slash. Okay, so I learned something today. Great. <laughs> uh -huh. Remove this line. Remove. Uh, no, not remove. Uh, just put 
uh, something like that. Uh, like that. Oh, great. Uh, and I think the patch is okay now. Yeah, it was zero. The last thing. <laughs> almost, almost. Okay, I did it. Finished, yes. Okay. I'm not very really sure. Let's rebuild it. No issue. Uh, now, uh, let's look at the commit log. Uh, there are some things to, to add. Some small comments. Uh, and let's squash the, oh, the changes in the first commit. OK. Uh, the title can be slightly changed. Uh, to this one, okay, with a prefix to put the context of the of the patch. Obviously, we keep the author, original <laughs> author. As first. Uh, oh yes, we need to put a trace here. Uh, to, to show what was the bug. And as, as I said, uh, the why, how, what, first what, then why, the explanation, and how we fix the bug. Uh, yes, we just need the trust. Uh, uh, I need some help. J'y arrivais pas tout à l'heure en fait. Ah, c'est que ça n'a aucun sens. C'est pour avoir l'iPad. Où est-ce qu'on est C'est là. Ça, là, ouais. Juste la, la ligne. Ouais, jusqu'au jusqu petit machin. Là. Super. Merci. Okay, this is the trace. No need for this uh, pass. Looks good. Looks good. Now we have to check uh, if our patch is okay, if there is uh, this first script. Uh, oh, there is something missing. You, um, the, the, the patch is a fix, but uh, we, we didn't have put the a fixes line. It's a part of the contributing guideline. Uh, so uh, what is the origin of the bug? Uh, we can check in the Git history. It's simple because uh, this file is, uh, is new. Uh, it comes from this patch. So we can use uh, this uh, git alias, git fix line, which formats the line for us. Up, copy, past, and amount the patch to put this line. Uh, just there. Okay, now the patch looks better. Uh, so we check again. Okay, no warning. We are good. Uh, we can check the, the coding rules now for the patches. Oh, there is an error. It was not planned. Uh, what is the error there? A single statement, do I should not use do I zero loop. We can consider uh, the importance of the warning. Mm, uh, we can think it's a good practice, so it can be discussed. Let's keep it. <laughs> uh, OK, so we are ready now. We can send the email uh, to the mailing list with Gint and email. 
Uh, yes, uh, we, we, we can discuss everything. Okay, there are some guidelines, but guidelines are not rules. Um, so we send it on the main list dev at dpdk.org, uh, but as I said previously, it's not sufficient. Uh, actually, the main list uh, can be just in CC, and the good practice is, uh, is to send the, the patch to the to a maintainer. So here, uh, the maintainer uh, it's for EL, but the x x x eighty six part, uh, if I remember well. Uh, but I can check. Um, I can check in the maintainer's files. Um, the, let's check 886. Yes, there are two maintainers. It happens sometimes. So Bruce and Constantine. But okay, uh, let's imagine uh, I'm not a so, so good contributor and I forget this part because, in fact, I, I'm, la I'm lazy and I, I don't want to copy past the email. Uh, and by the way, I know this this, uh, this maintainer uh, pulling the mailing list, so that's okay. Um, yes, I want to send this patch to the mailing list. Caramba, what happens? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, not sure about the issue. <coughs> Yes. Okay, so as you can see, it doesn't work. Um, yeah, maybe it's because of KDE. Okay. I don't need to start. Oh. So, uh, for the purpose of the demo, uh, let me do the, the send on my red computer. And uh, just one second. Okay, trust me, it's sent. On my computer. Um, okay, so now we can check if the, if the patch is arrived on Patchwork. It doesn't work either. Um, ah, yes. OK. You, you can see uh, the patch here, x86. Uh, now I move to another repository where the patch uh, is not in. Uh, and uh, I wait to, to, to push it. But uh, first, we need a review. So we have to wait the review. 
Let's wait. <laughs> yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a true demo, real life. I sent a patch, and now I wait for a review. Uh, anybody in the room to do the review, please? <laughs> okay, we have Olivier. Maybe you. Yeah, it's done. It, it's already done. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Let me check. Um, it was not planned at all. No, no. <laughs> I'm the mailing list. I'm so done. Totally, for, 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 <laughs> for, fortunately, <laughs> fortunately, Olivier is polling. Um, so where can I check uh, if the patch is review? You can check on the mailing list. Uh, the mailing list for patches is dev at dpdk.org. Here you have the archives. You can view every patches in the archives. Here our patch. And yes, there is a reply from Olivier. What is the reply? Hi, Thomas. <laughs> Hi, Olivier. <laughs> um, Generally speaking, it's not a good idea. Oh, but, but in that case, the workaround is okay. Oh, it's act. Okay, thank you, Olivier. Uh, so we can continue. I I stop I stop sleeping now. Yes, I'm already in DPDK. Yeah. So I can uh, pull the the patch and apply it with Git am. But it doesn't work because you need to put the ID of the patch. So here it is this number, copy, paste, because I'm a lazy guy. Um, yes, it's applied. I can have a look at the patch. You can see now we have the, the line act by by Olivier. Again, thank you, Olivier. And the patch is there. Now you know it. Just replacing an inline function by a macro because of a ceiling bug. Uh, so this patch is valid, uh, and as a committer, I can push the patch to the master. Hope this thing will work. Obviously, it won't work. Oh, it works. It seemed to be pushed. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm surprised. <laughs> because I'm doing my demo with uh, Apple Mac, and I don't know how to call it, but some things work. <laughs> um, yes, when the patch is pushed, uh, you have to update the patchwork to uh, to say that uh, the patch is pushed. Um, so the, the new state of the patch is accepted. Um, where is the uh, uh, okay, let me check uh, the log. Oh, yeah, you can check the web interface as well. This is the commit ID. And I also need the patch ID. The patch ID is here. Okay. Okay, it's done. We can check quickly on the Git repository. The Git repository is there. DPDK log. Two minutes ago, we had this patch. Great. So first patch from Damien. Uh, I don't know if, the, if it's the first patch from Damien, but thank you, Damien. It's not the first patch. Yeah, Damien is used to contribute to DPDK because we collaborate well between VPP and DPDK. <laughs> that was the purpose of the demo. Yeah, so uh, this presentation was about open source and collaboration. Thank you, Olivier. Thank you, Damien. Thank you, everybody. Each day we make DPDK better, and it's that's a really good thing. Uh, I know in VPP, you, there are a lot of developers which are doing great things, uh, great optimizations, great drivers, great uh, libraries with uh, algorithm and things like that. Probably some things can be moved to DPDK, that's something to discuss. 
it's uh, more than welcome. And if you have some uh, some bugs uh, that you see uh, when using GPP, please don't hesitate to contribute to DPDK. Uh, and maybe last thing, uh, please uh, make sure to use the vanilla DPDK in GPP. Oh, today there is a, a small issue. Uh, VPP is downloading DPDK uh, from an alternative repository. So we are not really sure that the vanilla DPDK. Maybe I can suggest to, um, to use the vanilla DPDK. Yes, let's go in VPP. Uh, I, I have a patch for that. Um, because you know, when you build uh, VPP, you download DPDK. Uh, it was on this repository. Uh, I heard that uh, um, there is a third-party repository because the uh, DPDK repository for the tarball was not fast enough. But it's over. Now we have a fast repository, which is named fast.dpdk.org. Great. Actually, it's a CDN, uh, kindly offered by Fastly. Uh, so I think it can be used. And yeah, as an, uh, another change, uh, you can use tar.exe. It's faster to, to download instead of GZ. Uh, so the checksum are different. Uh, OK, so I have put a, a patch uh, from VPP to DPDK. Now I suggest to, uh, to make a patch to VPP, and the collaboration uh, will be complete. Uh, Git review, I think, Pierre, you, you showed it. Uh, the, it uh, but Git review is a good way to, to push a patch in VPP, right? It's not git send email for VPP. OK, so I sent it. Now it's on, in, on your end to, to put it. A few comments from my side on, on, on this topic. We are building a DPDK from the last stable or last official release. So whatever comes after the, the official release to the every bug fix or something we found, in any issue we found, we are basically keeping as a as a patch in inside the our our source tree. We are pulling always the the, the official tarball, and then we are applying those patches. Uh, we are trying to upstream all patches which we are receiving, especially for a Cisco Cisco uh, Enic driver, which is uh, which is the main the the biggest consumer of of uh, of our patch directory. So actually, how it works is that uh, when sixteen uh, 07, which is the next release, right? Goes out. This patch, which is uh, which you just submitted, will not be uh, will not be there anymore. But up to the point when we are still depending on 16.04, we need to to keep this patch in the repository. For 16.04. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it was the the patch will. So basically, what you submitted now, it will be rejected. <laughs> And that is the reason why. But uh, in, you know, on 16 of 7, when it comes out, we will probably at some point uh, change the default DPDK version. Uh, yeah. We are doing that typically like two, three weeks after the, the official release. So when we do that, we will basically just drop that patch from the 16 of 7 uh, patch, patch directory. Actually, what you are saying is that you keep some patches on yeah. the old releases. Because yes. because you, uh, you you do some maintenance on yes. the releases, mm -hmm. and uh, as I showed previously, uh, now there is a repository for the maintenance of the stable releases. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe it's just a matter of uh, putting your patches in the maintenance tree and uh, and pull the maintain the stable releases. Yes. Yeah. So th that is another point. So um, my impression so far was that the the stable branch was not really. Updated, yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm perfectly fine to do that <laughs> when when we see that really the what, what what the bug fixes are going to the stable to the, or long living release of the the, DPK, the PDK. Another point here is that we have currently two issues which are which are still not fixed and they are basically uh, require uh, require some. Uh, we are basically doing some reorg on the on the some structures in the DPDK. Uh, basically, two patches are are the, the 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 patches which are performance related, not the the bug fixes. First one is that we are re reshuffling the 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 mbuff structure in the way that the next pointer, which is currently in the second cache line, goes to the first one. Uh, the reason for this is that we notice that uh, we have a huge uh, stall uh, when we're using some of the drivers because they are trying to use the 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 next pointer in the mbuff and uh, 
and just by simply just changing the order in the MBAP structure, we get like 10% improvement in the performance. Uh, second one is about uh, about uh, RT RT uh, delay, which is problematic uh, uh, in the way like it is used today because uh, if you have a two interfaces, one is running traffic, another one is uh, uh, both handled by the same CPU core, and if one is running traffic and you try to to shut up, uh, down or, or or bring up the, the another interface, actually DPDK today is sleeping for in some cases up to well, I think 100 milliseconds even and during the interface up and down, which means that the second interface, which is processed by the same core, is not is not uh, is not handled. And what we are doing here, we are basically patching DPDK in the way that we are creating the weaker, uh, basically a handler, external uh, delay handler, which is then handled by BPP in the way that we are descheduled the, the, the process, which is the, the interface, in, putting interface up and down, and then rescheduling it back. In, in other ways, uh, we, we, we are still giving DPDK opportunity to wait because it needs to wait, but we are using the time which is used which is the, the wait time we are using for doing some other job and to process the, uh, the other interfaces. So basically, I think for a second one, we need to, I already discussed this with Thomas uh, uh, two days ago, right? We should find out a way in DPDK to really provide a way to do an external uh, callback for the making a sleep. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a proposal yeah. For, yeah. for a feature, yeah. just a new API. Mm -hmm. So. You, um, you know, you, when you plan to um, to impl implement something new because you have a need, maybe uh, instead of working on a complete patch uh, and see if uh, if everybody agrees and maybe uh, reject uh, your ideas or reject your work, uh, it's it's better to first uh, just discuss, ask a question, or just send uh, the the beginning of the, of the code for your ID. In this case, it's a small code, so uh, it's not very really relevant. But yeah, well, I mean, uh, what we have yeah. now is just a hack, right? Right. We need to to really yeah. somebody needs to 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 do a work on proper patch to to have the kind of callback mechanism for for that. So I mean, typically, for what was happening to us in the in the past is that uh, we have an issue. We have a this this specific guy, the patch was coming from the from the guys doing the uh, ASR 9000V the virtualized router. And they notice that when they're running BFD on the router, they notice that when the interface is going up and down, they are basically getting the, the, the BFD <coughs> was detecting failure because the, the BFD packets were, were not going through during the, this event. So it was very really a customer issue and it was fixed quickly to address the, the, the escalation we had at that moment. And we basically, <coughs> we basically never had the time to really Work on the on the proper solution. It's basically hack which works, but it's definitely not something we can we can upstream tomorrow to the DBDK. Yeah, and by the way, you you you're right. I forgot an important item uh, in this presentation. Um, it was about collaboration, but all these things are also about time we we have. Uh, we we everybody uh, uh, need more time to uh, to contribute, but also to live. So. <laughs> Uh, we just need to uh, to put the right priorities and discuss. And uh, sometimes you, uh, by discussing, you just find some someone else who have the same issue or want to help. And uh, maybe you, we can share the work this way. <laughs>